Uh, he has a question. How many times do you follow up on the buy or sale side? Two to three times. So I guess, Matt, to clarify, is that just um, like how many times are you going to follow up with these people to get the deal done? Um what do, you, what do you guys think about that? I, to me, it's it's all about the, the initial connection, right? Uh, it's all about the connection, and then there is some follow-up time after that. So maybe he's got some deals that are going cold or something, and he wants to know uh, how you follow up with those people and how many times. Michael? So basically, do we give up on them after a few calls? If we're, like, say, on yeah. the intake, uh, they don't respond. No, I... Uh, my team, I just say, look at you. Just keep hitting that until we get. You know, it's just part of the daily activities. They we continue to. I don't ever, quote unquote, give up. I mean, I just have them continue to follow up with them. Um, it's just a phone call, and it's. So is that the question I'm understanding? Like, would I stop doing that? Yeah, but at what point do you give up? I think is the when question. do you stop? Yeah, uh, I don't. I mean. I don't know. Those are back burners. And, uh, you know, um, some of those do produce. So until someone tells me to absolutely leave them alone, stop calling, I would just continue to have my team call them. I'm not, it's just a phone call. I don't well, know. That's, that's the thing, right? Notice what he just said. I think I would just have my team to continue to call them. Notice how yeah. he didn't say, I call them. So. What it really comes down to is like, if you're the one calling them, there's one answer. And then when you're paying somebody else and you can objectively look at the metrics, it's probably yeah. going to be a different answer, especially right. on the buy side, right? Um, you know, we get so burned out talking to, you know, sellers to go buy land. You get an intake guy in there and you're like, okay, you know, here we go. We're gonna review deals on Monday and we're not gonna let anybody go until, you know, we agree we're gonna let them go. And then that only takes you 20 minutes once a week. And then it's a different ball game. And then you end up getting more deals that way. Um, you know, Frank had said, hey, I think the, the metric for the most success is at least six. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. I can tell you for us on the sales side, uh, we try to communicate with people the way they come in. So if they come in on, on Facebook, we stay in Facebook and try to get them to a phone call. Um, but a phone call is, to me, always stronger than an email, you know, um, and we will put them into a rotation where we will reach out to them. Yeah, I mean, at least six times. And uh, and then when we're done with that, we'll put them into an automatic sequence from there. And I think it's actually more than six, but it depends on how hot they are. Right. If they're all over it, then and we get a phone number and then it's going to be it's going to be an email a phone call, voicemail, and a text every day, every other day until we decide that you're not really paying attention to us anymore. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Subs subscribe. What does Mark always say? And, subscribe or know, die? Buy or die? Here's the other thing. Uh, let's say after those six points of contact, 10 points of uh, attempted contact, they go cold. Uh, well, mail them again. Mail them again well, the in key. 90 days and well, uh, yeah, either increase or decrease your offer price. It's like, or, are you going to take someone off your buyer's list because they didn't buy this week? Right. right. Are they going to, oh, this guy didn't buy, um, he's off the list. No. Yeah. You're just going to keep hitting them, hitting his yeah. email with offers. Yeah, I mean, we, we put, we segregate incoming buyers into like super hot and hot and the super hot ones i want communication out to them you know every 24 to 48 hours right, right. and if there's no communication to follow up boss then i'm going to get a report that says we didn't touch this guy in the last 48 hours right um at some point my sales manager can put that person from super hot into hot because they're just not responding but you can see it it's Attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt in all different ways. Emails, voice, text, combinations, right? Hangups, all of it. Yeah. So if you're um, not doing the work, it changes the dynamic completely. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, honestly, sure. she follows up way more than I used to. 
because I was super busy. But now that I have her and I can just dictate whatever I want, it's great. Like, we will follow up eight times. There's there's something, too, with uh, when we do it, there's emotion involved. Like, I'm so annoyed contacting this guy. Like, I don't want to talk to this guy again, although I got a deal on the hook. Yeah, Whereas, right? if you're hiring somebody else to do it, who you're paying and they're relying on you for payment, they're just going to do what you ask them to do. There's no emotion involved. Yeah. So, that's... That's the yeah. that's the beauty of delegating as no well. No motion, no effort, no time spent. It just gets done. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We had a cash buyer today who my sales assistant has been talking to for weeks. And I'm like, this is just a total I'm looking at my wife like this is a total waste of time. I can't believe we're even like don't call me until this person buys or goes away. I don't care either way. Right. And it was just conversation after conversation. I'm like, this is the problem. The problem is that you and I, salesperson, that we continually talk about this person, and we're going back and forth over like selling it for cash for forty two fifty or forty one seventy five or this or that and the other thing. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I don't care. Sell, go sell for thirty eight hundred. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Just either like, just don't talk to me about it anymore. Right. Just go sell it. Go away. Go sell it. That's where I'm at with you. 